We'll be covering the 2D section in this tutorial. Uh, so this tutorial number one. So we'll be designing this uh, 2D sketch on SolidWorks. So all the dimensions are given here, as you can see. So let's start designing it on SolidWorks. Click here, new. You can click on part, your part is selected, and then click, or you can double click on parts. Yeah. So there are three different types of planes. You can see top, front, and right. So you can you can use any one to design this, but uh, normally we'll use because if you see this figure uh, from the top, it looks like this. So we'll we'll be using top sketch. Uh, sorry, top plane. So top, click on top, and then click on sketch. And then for there there are different types of. Um, uh, elements you have uh, SOLIDWORKS given like this is a line, this is a circle so you can actually achieve any kind of figure by with the help of these kind of tools so so because we have to draw this rectangle we'll go here and then we'll click click for central rectangle yeah then click at the center and then extend it and then click again so our rectangle is ready but we haven't provided any kind of dimension to it to provide dimension we'll go to smart dimension then we will select this side which is uh, 57 and the other side which is 41 So we click normal too. Yes. So you can see our rectangle is ready, but we have to draw these uh, circles. So this the circle this circle has a diameter of six mm. So we go to the circle, then we click here, then go to smart dimension. Then select the dimension is six. Now we provided the dimension, but uh, we don't know the horizontal and the vertical distance. Where is it actually is in the in the in this rectangle? So we'll go to the figure. So the the horizontal distance is thirteen from this side. So we'll go to smart dimension. Click here. Then we'll go click here. Then thirteen. After that, and the vertical distance is 26, 13 plus 13, 26. Twenty-six. So our first circle is ready, and the other circle is of diameter 10. Go to smart dimension again. Then give it. Okay. And the horizontal distance is thirteen plus sixteen. So we go to smart dimension. Then we will click thirteen plus sixteen. Now we have the uh, sorry uh, horizontal distance, and we have to set the horizontal. No, uh, vertical distance. This is 13. So it is 13. Go to smart dimension, then click the center, and then the bottom side. Click 13. So our two circles are ready, and then we'll go for third one. So the diameter of the circle is 13. So click on the circle again. Then go for smart dimension. 13. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
our horizontal distance is 13, 16, 16. So we'll go to the smart dimension, select this side, and select the center again. Then it was 13 plus 16 plus 16. I hope I'm right. Yep, 13, 16, 16. Yeah, then click enter. You see the horizontal distance and the vertical distance is 29. So click the bottom. So guys, now you can see our sketch is ready, which is exactly the same as this one. And you can also see uh, the figure is fully defined at the same time. So if their sketch turns uh, totally black, then it means that your figure is fully defined. No one can change the dimension. Of course, you can change the dimension by clicking, double clicking here. But um, your sketch cannot be like, like be free to move, right? It's not possible to move. Like if you click the corners, you can, it's not moving. So it's turned black, and because we all because we provided all the dimensions and all that. So this is our first figure, and then we'll go for second one. Let's go ahead and save. Click on save button. Then we'll go for. Actually, you can choose any any folder. I'm choosing my one. Then we'll go for SolidWorks Designs. 